This video has been made possible by today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is a fantastic online learning platform where you can browse through the literally thousands of various classes on a huge range of topics. It's not just a website, but a community where you can interact with others to find encouragement and support for your learning. For instance, if you are interested in understanding more about musical theory, you could dive into one of the hundreds of classes that they have on this topic. These classes range from beginner levels all the way through to advanced, so regardless of your skill levels or experience, there will definitely be something for you. Even better, there are no ads, and as they are always adding new classes, you will never run out of topics to discover. To help you with your journey, the first 1,000 people who sign up with the link below will get one month of free Skillshare Premium Membership. So take a look and see what classes take your interest. Hello and welcome. This is a B-flat trumpet. It is a very standard B-flat trumpet and it has the standard, the standard arrangement of three valves as the very observant among you will have noticed. Uh, however, I play euphonium as my main instrument and my euphonium has four valves and uh, when I come to play trumpet I'm almost I'm always heinously limited by the fact that well I'm not a trumpet player but by, by the fact that it only has three valves I want a trumpet with four valves and uh, although in the past I've you know soldered two horrific trumpets together to make a sort of six valve conglomeration that was never designed to be a functioning instrument whereas I want a functioning four valve trumpet now there are many things in my life that I do not have such as you know friends and a, a, a social circle but there is one thing in my life that I do have and that is spare musical instruments and so what I want to do today is take this trumpet which is a working three valve trumpet and this trumpet which is a non-working sort of three valve trumpet where the second valve has got a crushed valve casing and so the second valve doesn't work and I want to mold these together in such a way that I'm left with a working four valve trumpet. My plan for this project, well actually I'm not sure if plan is the right word given that I haven't really given this any thought at all but what I'm thinking I'll try and do is grab a saw of some description and remove the third valve and its tuning slide from my donor instrument, yeet this away somewhere, and then uh, desolder the lead pipe and main tuning slide and etc. from the working trumpet and stick that third valve, which will now be the fourth valve, here. It's going to be offset slightly. I don't want all four valves in a row because number one, that's a lot more work. Number two, my fourth finger happens to be shorter than my other three. So it's going to be one, two, three, and then four is going to be off a little bit. But I think that's going to be more ergodynamic. Uh, and so the fourth valve will be here. Uh, that's as far as my planning and thought has uh, gone. So let's start disassembling these instruments and see what sort of a mess we can make. If this video never gets published, you'll know that it's an abject failure.
Here we go, the assembled product. We have the four valve trumpet. Um, I say assembled because it's not exactly finished. There are a lot of things that I can tidy up on it. Uh, but it is, you know, functioning. It functions, it looks sort of like an erupted carbuncle, but you know, we won't mind about that too much. The fourth valve is offset to the side and it's fairly comfortable. It's also just because of the way that the, the tubing around the, the bottom of the, uh, of the valve lines up, it, it's, it's a little bit higher than the other three, as you can see there. Um, I don't mind that too much. I, I think it's something that you would, you would get used to. The valves all work, which is a, 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 obviously an advantage, and one of the goals that I had set out for, I wanted to ensure that the instrument still functioned as an instrument. The, uh, the third valve, uh, sorry, the fourth valve tuning slide is a little bit of a mess visually. We have the normal third valve tuning slide that goes from about there to there, and then we have the first valve tuning slide tapped on top of that, and then we've got the, uh, the adjustable bit out here. So it is possible to adjust this. Um, there's not a lot of adjustment on it, but it's, it's possible to adjust it. What's actually quite miraculous is that this tubing is still parallel enough for the, for the tuning slide to go in and out despite the fact that there's only one brace sort of about there. But let's play some notes and see what, uh, what sort of sound we get. As you can see and hear, this has been a roaring success. Thank you for watching.